So this is the PowerWorks Megabox. And I got this for use uh, in powering equipment for astrophotography. Um, this box is fantastic. It has uh, USB-C, USB chargers, um, cigarette lighter, Anderson power pole. Um, you can tap into the, the battery directly um, as well. But the only thing I didn't like about it is that the, the light on the stock box is a white and amber light, uh, which is not the best for, uh, for night vision. So I just want to walk through how, how I ended up changing that to a white or a straight red light as part of this modification. So for this project, you'll need three things. You'll need um, a bag of these right angle uh, spade connectors. They're flag connectors. You'll need a replacement light. This is from the Mega Engineering, um, but it's a dual color light. And you'll need an on, off, on uh, rocker switch. Everything you need, I'll put in the description of this video. First thing is make sure your battery is disconnected. And then the first thing you're going to do is use scissors or a wire stripper and cut all of the existing um, blade connectors off. So anything that's connected here, just go ahead and cut it off and we're going to end up replacing them. Next, we're going to go ahead and unscrew the two screws. Make sure you save the screws as well as the nuts and washer um, that come with the, the unit because we're going to reuse those. And then go ahead and this should slide right out now that you've snipped off all the connectors. Now that you pulled the old light out, we're gonna go ahead and take the new light and install it uh, back in. And if you buy this version of light, it will fit um, exactly in place of the old one. The screws will fit in exactly in the same spot. So you shouldn't have any issue getting this new light installed. Now we're going to remove the on off switch that comes with the box and replace it with an on off on switch so we can power two different modes of the light. So you just take a screwdriver, you kind of push it down on the top tab and push up with your finger from the bottom and just sort of wiggle until the, uh, the switch comes out. And this is the old switch and we're gonna go ahead and replace it with the, the new on off on. Right, so this is what it should look like after you've taken out the old switch and then the new on off on switch just pushes uh, right into place. So you should just be able to line it up and shove it in and it should lock right into place without having to drill any additional holes. All right, this is what the this is what the in-shot side of the box should look like uh, after you've got the new light installed and you've got the old rocker sequence selector switch and the new on off on switch. So the first thing you're going to do is you'll have a, a red, a yellow, a blue and a black wire. Uh, that are coming out of the back of the light. Um, you're going to clip on a flag connector to the blue light, or to the blue wire, the yellow wire, and the red wire. And let's install these first because this is the uh, the easiest uh, one to install. Okay, so we're going to take the uh, the blue wire and we're going to attach the blue wire to the bottom connector. And take the red wire. Attach the red wire to the top connector. We're gonna take the yellow wire and attach the yellow wire down here to the bottom. So you'll have yellow on the bottom on the left, and you'll have your red coming out of the light and your blue uh, coming out. So now let's move to the power connectors. So let's start with the, the black wire. So they'll have a, a black wire and a red wire that should have uh, nothing attached to the end if you clipped off the old connectors. You're gonna take the black wire and you're gonna splice it together with the black wire that's coming out of the, the new light. So you'll take the two ends, you could use a, a wire nut. I ended up just soldering them together with some heat shrink, but you're gonna ground the um, this to get wire side on the red wire side you're going to make a setup that looks like this so i cut off a little piece of of red wire from the actual light because this gives you a lot of uh, long distance uh, of red wire so i just cut off a piece and so i'm going from the terminal uh into a spade into one of these flag connectors 
I stuck in uh, two pieces of wire in here, crimped it just with some pliers, and then about two inches, two and a half inches of wire, and then that runs to another spade connector. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, one of these spade connectors, it's gonna go into the middle, the open middle plug, and then the other spade connector, or sorry, flag connector, goes to the top over here. All right, so this is now used to change the sequence of the lights as it did in the old light. And now this is providing power to the middle terminal. And then you select which lead gets powered, either the top red one or the bottom blue one, depending on what mode you want the lights to run. So let me show you how to now set it up to run in white or red. Okay, so I've rehooked up the battery and now I'm gonna show you how to get it on the white and red. So by default, when you turn this on, it's likely gonna be flashing a different color. It's likely gonna be looking something like this. So what you're gonna have to do is hit this button probably 30 times through all these different flashing modes until you get to solid, either white or red. So in this case, I'm using position one as the white position. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this about 30 times until I get to the uh, final color. Okay, I finally landed on white, and now what I'll do is I'll do the same process, but I'll switch it down to switch to mode two. And now I have to do the same thing to, to uh, get to a solid red. So I'll flip through this until I get to solid red. All right, one more. All right, I'm on solid red now. So um, my plan is to not change the modes. I mean, it's helpful, I guess, if you wanted to use it as an emergency signal but I'm probably not gonna use this switch too much. I could even unhook it if I didn't wanna hit it on accident, which I may do. But now I have off, white in position one, and red in position two. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks.